Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today's uh, some processing day, so I got it all set up. We're gonna be doing it into the trailer today. Um, brother's on the skid loader, he's down there right now grabbing some logs. So I got the four-way in right now, but I'm probably gonna put the eight-way back in just for a little bit. So as some of you guys probably know, the log father, he has a YouTube channel, obviously. You know, he posted a thing a few days ago about, uh, you know, fastest cord challenge. So we're not gonna do that today. I'm gonna find exactly what size logs work the best on the eight way, because that way I can produce as much wood the fastest. I'm not gonna be the fastest, that's for sure, but it's, I figure I'd give it a go since that's what I do for a living is produce wood. So today we'll be finding the exact size that we want, separating those logs, and then in a few days from now, we'll do the, the fastest cord. So we'll see. But yeah, today uh, it's gonna be hot still. I got the umbrella out, which is good. So I'm not frying all day. And then we did, uh, I did recently pick up the Steel Procom uh, headsets here. So he has one on so I can hit the button and talk to him whenever I want and vice versa. So like I got the tape measure here. So when I find the exact log that I think is gonna work the best, I'll radio to him. I'll give him the tape measure so he can measure, separate those logs and so on. So. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll probably just do a trailer load today, get it stacked, and then, uh, then, like I said, in a few days we'll we'll do the challenge, and I'll I'll record it in real time so you can see it. I honestly have no idea how long it's gonna take. I really don't. Uh, Cause a lot of times, as you know, I'm always fumbling around with the eight-way wedge. But if it's the perfect size log, it really doesn't move. Um, I do like using the four-way because a lot of times we get smaller logs and this wedge doesn't move as I've mentioned in the past so all right well I'm gonna get you guys set up we got some logs coming up here so we're gonna get moving here before she gets scorching hot but yeah so so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy
right guys well i'm not sure how much you guys saw of that camera kept shutting off because it was too hot but we didn't get much done today it was too hot we took a break i mean it was like 85 degrees super humid i know that's not too hot but it is when you're working and so this is all we got done today we didn't really do much like i said but at least we got some done as you can tell usually this thing is full like twice over when we usually split for a day or so not much debris but either way <clears throat> we got some done so we'll, we'll get this stacked probably tonight because it's really cooling off now so which is good but i'll tell you what though those steel procom <clears throat> headphones there they actually work really good i mean i could hear my brother way down there when we're talking about diameter of logs and whatnot you know so uh it's a little bit slow today on the processor um still not sure if i'm going to use just a four-way when i do this uh you know full cord race or not or the eight-way or whatever eight-way makes more sense i probably will <clears throat> it probably won't be the fastest run but we'll see for me at least um just because it, it moves so but i you know roughly 10 to 14 inches is probably the sweet spot for that eight-way 12 is 10 to 12 is ideal so <clears throat> from now in a couple days we'll probably do it on a saturday um i'll separate a bunch of logs i'll probably process tomorrow on the next day and the next day after that depending um if we do any trees or not we were supposed to do a big tree job today but since we've had all that rain it's just too wet to do that so i decided just to process wood which i got to get a lot done i got to process i think another 50 cords in the next month and a half or so to make room for the next few loads i got to get down there so not only that i got to get to a bunch of that oak but i did do a delivery of a face cord of kiln dried cherry today so i got that done so i got something done today <clears throat> i cut the grass whatever and they, you know normal stuff but not as much as i wanted to get done i was hoping to get done at least two to three cords of wood today probably didn't even didn't even get one cord today which is not good so but yeah yeah i was hoping to get you guys more like i said i'm not even sure how much this recorded today because i can't every time i would check the camera it was off because and then i turn it back on and it says it shut off because it was too hot so hopefully you got to see some of it um which is really weird because i had the camera in the shade too so it wasn't like it was in uh in the sun so <clears throat> but yeah i mean it's not ideal to split into that because it doesn't fill the middle of the trailer i mean i can show you you know you know here's the middle this is dead center here and you know it makes a pyramid style over here where if it was in the middle it'd be a lot better and if it was a lot higher you know kind of up to here so i don't think i've mentioned this in the past but maybe i have i don't know i do have another processor on order not sure when it's going to arrive um i'm hoping soon i am trading this guy in so i won't give you some specifics on what it is but the conveyor is six feet longer it does swivel so if i still do choose to process into the trailer <clears throat> i could be able to get dead center a lot higher and swivel it to be able to fill it without having to move anything because while i was up there standing on the side throwing some logs over or some wood over <clears throat> not paying attention a split piece of wood came up and my finger you can kind of see it was there and it only dropped what, a foot onto my hand and i had gloves on and it just totally tore that skin right off so needless to say it didn't feel very good it really pissed me off so i was like i'm just getting sick and tired of messing around so it's a good thing i have another one in order because uh for my needs i mean this unit's just fine but for my needs i want something else uh you know it's one of those things you don't know what you know until you until you have it so but will this sack will this do for what i needed to do sure but i i mean we produce a lot of wood here so i need it'll be a little bit quicker i'm hoping it's a little bit nicer as far as the wedge goes for me that four-way is fun it doesn't move when you don't want it to move it'll stay where it is you can just fly if you had to if you separated your logs by diameter you could do some serious damage as far as how fast you could go um 
So I'm praying the next one, the wedge that I chose, once I have it where I want it, it'll stay. The longer conveyor, blah, 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 more power, this, this, and that. Then it'll suit my needs, <coughs> excuse me, suit my needs a little better. But in the meantime, we've produced a ton of wood. I'm not exactly sure how many full cords we've done since I've owned this. If I had to guess, probably 200 full cords of wood since last October or so. Um, within the next month or two, it'll probably be another 100, another 100 full cords of wood, so. Usually, this boiler tote is full one and a half times over, so. Like I said, we didn't get much done today, but I still got stuff done, so. Sold wood, made wood, just gotta get it stacked, cleaned up, but probably won't clean up much of anything today because like I said I'm gonna go all day tomorrow tomorrow's supposed to be a cooler day I'll be using the tractor with the grapple go up and down probably have another 50 cords down there give or take ideally if I did this every day I could have that done in a week um, easily so yeah that's pretty much all I got for you guys today uh, like I said in a couple days I'll do the the race, the full cord race, whatever you want to call it, that the log father uh, posted about. So, like I said, it probably won't be the fastest time out there, but it won't be slow. Um, I'm really hoping that, you know, because he said there was three categories, that the first category with the chainsaw and splitting includes actually cutting the logs to size and then splitting it, not just having the logs sitting there, because that challenge has been done. Having all the logs already sitting there and you throw it on the processor, how fast can you do it? You know, th that's fine and all, see how fast your splitter is, but you still have to cut the round. So I'm really hoping when he said that he meant you have to cut it and then split it, right? To me, that makes sense. Um, Cause like I said, that face card challenge has been done already. Um, it's one thing to have, and to be honest, Trying to cut as fast as you can on a chainsaw is not safe. Neither is splitting. For an example, my mom, she crushed her finger a month and a half or so ago, splitting here with my dad. And she lost from like the first knuckle here. It's gone. Just little, legitly crushed it. So, And they've been splitting wood longer than I've been alive. So, you know, be safe out there when you're doing it. Same thing with processing. Stuff happens. So like I said, I'm not gonna try to do it as fast as I can. I'm gonna do it as safe as I can and as efficient as I can. And if I do a good time, sure. But like I said, it's it's consistency. If you do this day in and day out, if you can, I think if you can produce, we'll just say a cord an hour and you do this for eight hours, it's eight cord a day, that's pretty good. Um, now do that day in and day out, right? So you gotta have a place to store it. You need the, the inventory of logs to do it. And it's, you know, the size of the pieces, you know. So hopefully when people do this, they actually really, I'm, it's, it's like I'm setting the rules, but I'm not. I just, you know, everyone needs to look at what's being split too. Is it the exact size that it needs to be for wood stoves, not just these big chunks. Everyone's different demographic is different what, you're, what they buy and what we sell. So Take it with a grain of salt. Like, mind you, if I'm using the eight-way and somehow it starts to rise, which it will every log, if some piece is too big and I see it, I'm gonna re-grab and re-split it. Even though it's gonna slow me down, I don't care. It's the quality of wood, so. Just like I, you probably didn't see it because the camera died, but I re-split, you know, I grabbed a lot of pieces because I'm only using a four-way and we're cutting, you know, big pieces like this. You know, a four-way's not gonna do it. For boiler wood, sure. But for uh, campfire and wood stoves and fireplaces in the house they want you know stuff that you can grab with hand so yeah that's just my input on it so in a few days i'll have a test it'll be a live video hopefully the camera doesn't die <clears throat> i'll start the, my <clears throat> timer on my phone put it back in my pocket and as long as the camera doesn't die it'll just be a live feed i'll probably end up speeding it up depending on how long the video is but if i can do it in 15 20 minutes then which it probably won't be that it'll probably be a half hour i'm guessing a half hour Hopefully. I feel like I split for way longer than the wood that I produce, but who knows. But if I got the right size wood, I, I'll, I'll go pretty quick, as long as I'm not messing around with the wedge and stuff. So, so yeah, we'll see. 
so yeah stay tuned for that that'll be in a couple days i'm not sure if i'll post anything the next day or two which i probably will but but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh i'm sure everyone else is busy as i am as we all are in life so yeah let me know what you guys think but and oh yeah, actually you know what let me know what you guys think i'll do for a time using a way with 10 to 12 14 inch logs curious to see what you guys think i'll do um like i said i'm, I'm shooting for a half hour or better i know ultimately I, I could probably do it in 15 minutes if i just fly which we'll see we'll see how comfortable i get and how how i feel that day and we'll see but yeah let me know what you guys think but as always keep burning